Hello! So this is war number 8 of season 39. I'm taking path 7 again and facing unsteady ground as it is the case for any tier 2 war. So the first fight will be against these crossbones. I'm going in with Apocalypse. I don't have the cable synergy and so I will try to take him down. The idea is pretty simple for me. Bait SP1, punish and repeat. Since I don't have the cable synergy, I cannot do the trick of uh, hitting block to stun him. So the fight is a bit slow, special attack damage is not as big as when he has like 4 charges, but little by little it can be done. And that's it, so Apocalypse is like a cheat code for um, path 7. You can just ignore the node like for all purifying champs. So next fight um, is an Elza Bloodstone. I was a bit in a hurry when I took this fight and I played uh, very bad. So you will see I'm not proud of this fight. The SP1 when I'm, which I'm supposed to dex properly, um, I didn't manage to dex the first time. happen now. For some reason I dashed back too early. There I managed to do it. But the first one was kind of stupid, right? So I can say it was the kid screaming and whatever, which is true, but in the end it's all on me for rushing the fight instead of trying to do it like uh, in a quiet way. Thank God it was the only fight I needed Kitty for. So the damage in the end um, is not so horrible from a health potion perspective. Next fight will be a bishop. I'm taking Ultron. Um, I believe Goldie placed uh, pre-fight. Am I wrong? Yeah, I'm wrong. No, there is no pre-fight on this one. So, um, yeah, I'm going a bit um, <laughs> cowboy style, I would say, because um, the Dijan will give him power gain, you know, you see, as it occurs now. But yeah, in the end, uh, Ultron is pretty good against Bishop. By blocking, I get clean charges that help me face the um, incinerate and also like the, the hazard shift debuffs. And also, uh, Seek 200 really helps facing those debuffs. Also, the good thing about Ultron against Bishop is that uh, one out of two or three special attacks he throws, the guy uh, will simply evade, which is quite handy. And if not, by blocking, I can get those clean charges. So Ultron is a pretty good option for Bishop. Next will be Thing. I'm taking him with Ultron as well. It will be a long fight because um, the bleeds from Ultron will allow me to control a bit the rock stacks. 
However, that's a big source of damage for Ultron. So, well, you have to know about it and just be patient, right? There will hit block twice so that he will do his special attack and remove all the stacks. I'm afraid of using my special 3 because I don't really know whether uh, it would take like the rock stacks be beyond 15 or not. So I prefer to do it like the the slow way, you see. It's just a question of managing the stacks. to bait the special attack because he's above 15 charges and then we repeat the process times but oh, I didn't now I will come on thing do your thing and finally we're able to finish him I will just throw this special three And the fight is finally over. And so we'll have a last fight. I don't have any boss circle assignment. It will be against Apocalypse. Again, Ultron will be great. There is this protection uh, that the node gives. I have to knock him down. So it's well, what, what I will try to do. There I heavy him, protection just goes away. I simply block the special one because I'm not perfect dexing his uh, special attacks. Anyway, Ultron's energy resistance is pretty good. I think it comes from the SIG ability, if I'm not wrong. I like using the special 3, because it allows me to control the opponent's power. Also, after special 3, the opponent will be stunned. So it's a great opportunity for me to place a heavy attack. Again, I took away the protection and I will try to finish this guy soon. And now with a special two, we are done. So that's it for this war. It was a win. 
our eighth win in a row. That's amazing. Pretty happy about it. See you around.